welcome to Uncut Angling. Today, I have a co-host on Uncut Angling. That's not her though, that's her. Hello. That is my sister, Carrie Bentham. Has this been like six years? Six years since you were on Uncut Angling? Yeah. We're going for black crappies, which is one of <gasps> Carrie's favorite fish. The last time we tried to go crappie fishing, we caught maybe one or two tiny pike. Oh yeah, that was brutal. No crappies, and there is footage that Carrie routinely sends me of me uh, having trouble keeping my eyes open. Oh, huge mark, huge mark. <laughs> so, we're gonna do a competition. First one to catch their limit. It's all about catching a limit. Do we have to actually keep them or can we just- mark No, we're on a killing them. I'm not killing any for the record. But if, hey, if we only catch, you know, half of our limit, whatever, that'll be the competition. And the loser is, I mean, it speaks loser. for itself. Big loser. You don't want to be a loser. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> we might talk about the competition a little bit more once we get on the ice. Okay. Oh my goodness. What? What? <sighs> Tell me it's not heat related. <laughs> we do have the propane heater, but I forgot the auger. Like, so we have no auger. Oh my goodness, and my axe and my chisel or in my other toboggan. <sighs> We're gonna have to figure out a different way to cut through the ice. Luckily, this is the time of year where there is that much perfect ice. So I have this amazing Strike Master 24 volt, super lightweight, super ideal for crappie fishing, super ideal for drilling a hundred holes. And it is at home. Oh, why is it at home? It's at home to stay warm inside oh, the house. Okay, good. Wow, and it's lucky. My chisel and my ax are in my other toboggan. So this is our ice chisel. That we're gonna, I mean, we're not, we're not gonna be cutting a hundred holes, obviously. And maybe this can be kind of like- Come on, how is that gonna work? Hey, I also have, this is my sick, gross pellet gun that the Tully's got me. I'm sure I have a shotgun too. <laughs> Should I bring that? No. No? <laughs> oh. How's the attitude check? We've got options, we're good, we're good. Let's get this off the truck. How's your attitude, Missy? Okay, I might actually need a hand with this. Don't act like I wasn't gonna help you with Well, anything. it's hard to know. I thought you were gonna give me some sassy line like, oh, what would you do if you were by yourself? <laughs> is it really heavy? Be careful. Oh, no. You can drop it. We did so good. Hey, this is gonna be slippery, like more slippery than you might even imagine. But safe. Oh yeah. This is the most perfect safe ice that you could ever be on, especially when you see how uniform it is. Like here, okay, so there's a little bit of a crack. So you're gonna take a look. And you can see at this crack, the water came up and made it like a little bit slushy, but it's 100%. Have you ever walked on ice that looked like this? No. It's amazing. There's a perch. How many stripes does it have? Are you kidding me? Is it dead? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Is that a perch? Yeah. It's got a billion stripes. Good eye. Thank you. The snow, it's like the down feather of a bird. Oh, it is. What the heck? What the heck? Isn't that cool? That does look like a feather. That's amazing. It must be some sort of moisture that like created it, not just snow falling from the... There's so many different kinds of snow. Yeah. This is like a very unique thing. I don't know if I've even seen this before. Well, it's a good thing I was here. You were just stomping all over it. Look at how beautiful that is. That is so cool. She's getting super good at walking on ice. Now you just have to teach her how to pull the toboggan. <laughs> We've got three different ways that we're gonna try and get a hole here because Carrie forgot the ice auger. Oh, the one thing that was my responsibility. And the ax and the chisel. This is just a normal drill bit, so. Uh-oh. What the heck? How is that so bad? Oh my goodness, we have no chance. <laughs> <sighs> I think this would work eventually. Sure. Not a hundred hole type day. No, for sure not. Okay, well, I'm gonna try the gun then. It is steel shot, so we're not poisoning the lake. Is there like rules about this kind of thing? I don't think so. When I tell you when, I want you to close your eyes. Closing your eyes does not do anything, dude. Well, the only thing I'm really concerned about is a pelt in the eye. I'm not concerned about a pelt in the shoulder. You know how many times John Wayne's been shot in the shoulder? You ready? Yeah. Wow, that was loud. Dude, it worked. Did that seem dangerous? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> okay, watch this. 
See that? Just like that. Another shot's reloaded. Okay, I'm going to take another shot right now. Okay, but re get ready. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness. <sighs> the spread's a little too narrow. Like, that's definitely big enough to fish out of, but if I could get the gun further away, the. Okay, I got a pail. I'm going to stand on a pail. Okay, look. Now that I'm this far away, like my muzzle's twice as far from the ice, the spread of my pellets is going to be the uh, desirable size hole. Whoa! Well, I think that's good enough. We can use the screwdriver chisel to make it a little bit bigger, but that's already pretty good. Okay, here it comes. Does that feel dangerous? Yeah. No. Okay, tell me when you and her are ready. We're good. She doesn't like that. She's like, I guess I was just really young last winter. I don't remember this. <laughs> this isn't how I remember ice fishing. You ready? I am going to shoot right away. Phoenix, 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 come here. Okay, we're good. Good. All right. Guess I didn't give you that much warning. Freaking rights, buddy. Freaking rights. Freaking rights. This is all function. Did you think we were playing games? No, I knew. I just oh, didn't oh, know oh. if everyone else knew. Oh, oh, oh. I think it's safe to take this off now. Oh, you weren't. You were never wearing. Lead me in. Where you start? Give me the line. Aaron, was that a standard approach to crappie basins? We've shot two holes to fish out of one hole for a transducer, which this is not. Similar. Oh, it's not big enough. Not big enough. Maybe get the gun? Oh, wow, I hope we don't have to switch spots. Oh, yeah, if we don't mark fish in an hour or two. Are we fishing anything specific down there? Or? Crappies like to be in a collection point, so a basin where over billions of years, millions and billions and softness has collected down there, and there's way more bug life in those areas than there are in just a normal flat bottom or a rocky bottom. Oh, we're in! They could be on bottom too. Especially this time of year, they could definitely be on bottom. So you can't even see them. Once you drop your jig down, they'll maybe rise up. <gasps> oh, you almost lost that. Then I'll look around, see if there's any fish around. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. That? well that's fish. I like it. 25 feet away, a few feet off bottom, big mark. Probably a crappie, it looks round. Now he's 22 feet away. He's getting closer. We need to get down there. Yeah, you can get down there. Is that the lure which, you want? Which one am I using? Well, I was going to let you pick. We've got two baits, a jigging spoon for maybe a more aggressive approach. And we've got a little, it's called a dragonfly plastic, but just a little creature bait on a tungsten jig. So you want to go more flash and bang or finesse? I'm not forcing one on you. I'm asking you. I feel like you're leading me in I'm direction. not trying to lead you. You decide. You just want to win this bet. I'm gonna go with dinner bell, but what's the wager? Easier math if it was just biggest one. That's true. Biggest crappie. Just yep. one? Yep. And what do you have for money? <laughs> I wager you $20 for the biggest crappie. Give me that. $20? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. This will become mine. I'm gonna put that right there. So we're both playing for my money. No, if you catch the biggest crappie, you can keep a rod of your choice. What would I do with a rod of my choice? How intense do I jig? Uh way less than that oh you said really go for it no i said flash and bang but that's just relative to this bait you want to just do little flicks like that's... that yeah exactly exactly check your drag like grab on the end here cool, like this. except don't bend towards the reel bend towards the hole like at a 90 degree angle yeah that's pretty good if during a fight you need to change it tightening it is clockwise and just go one click hopefully you don't have to change it Oh, that's fish. That fish. Yeah, lift up. Just just lift up a couple feet. Yeah, and then flick it. Oh, yeah, he's interested. Take it up we away from him a little bit more. Take it up a little bit more away from him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's interested. Yeah, and give it some flicks. <gasps> he's not interested Yeah, he anymore. is. Give it some flicks, but only a few inch flicks. Flick, 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 flick. Oh, never mind. He wants mine. No, he doesn't. Yeah, keep going with little flicks. Flick. Yeah, flick. I am. I know. Keep flicking. He seems huge. If it's a crappie, yeah, it's huge. But it oh. could be whitefish, smallmouth, pike, oh, walleye. Likes whitefish. <laughs> Don't even get me started. Oh, you got something coming in on you, but you know that. Mm -hmm. That's oh my big. goodness. That's big. Although according to you, it's not necessarily that big. Dude, you have no game with that spoon. <laughs> that's big. I don't think that's a crappie. See how long it was? See when he turned, you could see his body kind of arc. What do you think it is? Mm, little pike. Oh, I don't want them in. Could be walleye. You want a walleye? Mm. Keep, yeah, keep doing little flicks there. That's good. Yeah. 
Maybe oh, hi. Two, two. Big crappies. Big crappies. One for you, one for me? Where'd they bounce? They're probably still right here. Like they came through the beam at an angle. They were fading as they kind of cut through. But we maybe need to hang at that depth now because a few have come through at that depth, hey? Okay. You know what I just remembered? Hmm. I hate ice fishing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, on the bottom. You're playing games. <laughs> okay, that's a good sign Whoa. that there's two and they're tall. Or no, they're straight. There's like okay. a bunch of stuff there. Okay. If we don't catch one of these, we got issues. And they're moving relatively slowly. If he comes to look at it, keep taking it away from him a little bit. Oh, you have no game, hey? Is that, are you saying like I need to be doing something different? Oh, don't take it personally. <laughs> I'd like to have game one day. How did we not catch any of those? They're Look still at them. there. Yeah. Are they coming back? Like, are they crappies? It doesn't matter what they are. They should eat this, especially at first ice exactly. fish are supposed to be exactly active. You don't happen to like these, do you? These are the best <laughs> peanut butter filled pretzels. Where did these come from? You know, salt makes me sleepy. So you do like those? I do things to these. Use your imagination. Oh, hi, hi, hi. hi. Dude, you are not on your game. Like, you are not on your game, hey? You don't deserve this fish. Good, you didn't get him. You, you haven't caught him. any of them, even though you're apparently on your game. <laughs> so when that fish engages with you, Carrie, you're gonna lift your rod like just, like practice. Exactly, exactly. Who's got game now? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And then you can give the odd little like flick yeah by like flick i mean like a few inches not 18 yeah. inches so you might catch the next one that swims through if you're I'm not gonna. careful here comes a couple right now gary big fat ones right on the bottom they're dragging their front pectorals right in the mud oh big fatties oh yes i'm gonna get them i got them i got them move move away get, get the net no you don't need to do anything just kidding I was gonna joke about the net, but then you caught me off guard that I, I thought- I think it's a perch. Oh. I caught the first fish of the day. It's a beautiful perch. I thought it doesn't count for anything. Oh, do I count the stripes? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there's like a million of them. Oh my goodness. There's like a million stripes. If this is actually an eight stripe perch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, there's seven on that side, which is pretty routine. But does this side have eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice try. <laughs> There's like a million. <laughs> he is very pretty. Uh oh. What? There you go. Hey, it feels good to catch fish, I'll tell you what. Oh, tell me about it. It's so fun. It's like how fun though? Dude, everything. Like on a scale of everything one to ten. Everything we talked about. It was a ten. Hook set? <laughs> Were you sleeping? Nope. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Dude, all of a sudden they're going to come in and be in a different mood. Are you going to be in a different mood? 20 could come in in a bad mood. Or have already that many come in. 40. And then all of a sudden, every fish will just start eating. I don't think the lure matters as much as their mood. You can't tell people the lure doesn't matter when you're trying to sell tackle. You can put anything on here. How do you think they get the peanut butter inside there? They take the pretzel and they grab the peanut butter and they shove it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, let me get this one. But they're perch. I'll show you in a second. You'll be very interested. We got him. Oh, the bobber just barely moved. I can't believe how lucky I am. Two fish and you haven't caught a single one. I don't even deserve to catch another one. It's another perch. We're not playing the perch game. It's a big fat porch. It's got a zillion stripes. Holy smokes. You know how, maybe you don't know, but the brown color, it's called bug muck because this is what's down in these basins. This is gonna gross you out, but this is what they're eating. That's why we call it bug muck. What is that? It's just blood worms and stuff. You remember how you said, why is it called the dragonfly? Look, this is a dragonfly nymph. See how it's got all the appendages? Yeah. <clears throat> Let him go. Uh-oh. What? I don't know if he swam. Oh, there, no, he swam. 
But look, see all the appendages yes. on the dragonfly? fly? Tell them, not me. And see all the appendages on <laughs> So gross. I don't know why they want chartreuse, but... Oh, 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 look at how many Whoa. worms there were. Even more than you thought. I'm done with this biology lesson. Well, that's what they're eating in the soft bottom. In case you're wondering. Would you like one? Yep. <laughs> oh boy. The drowsies are really hitting me now. Oh, I'm bomb. I got Nice big one too. Big crappie. 14 and a half incher. Mm. Mm hmm Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Engaging. Look out. Watch the bloodworm. I mean, uh, what do they call it? Dragonfly? What do you call these things? Nymphs. Oh, I got him. Another one. This is just freaking awesome. I love catching fish. Oh. Carrie, when you finally catch a fish through the ice this winter, or next winter, whenever it happens again for you, you're gonna love it! Oh, look at how pretty it is! Oh, it's so pretty! It's so pretty! Okay. Whew. Can't hit that hard enough, hey? I think we need to get serious about something here. Boop! Boop! <laughs> Oh, here we go. Where? Oh. oh, yes. Great big one. He's right on you. I got him, buddy. Oh, this is a little bigger, whatever it is. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> what do I got, Carrie? Uh-oh. What the heck is that? A little pike? I got a cute little pike. Oh, multi-species. Bites on, bites on. Look out. He's coming in backwards. He came in backwards. It's insane. <laughs> Look at this. A very nice pike. Like a very, very nice pike. I'm so happy for you. Oh, catching fish is fun. Just barely hooked. Right back down. <laughs> Couldn't help but notice. You have not caught a single fish today. Ho, 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 ho. It doesn't help you to have a bad attitude, Carrie. Whether we catch something or not, can't we do it with good energy? Can't we be happy about not catching anything? <laughs> now feel good? Yeah. It feels good to laugh. Yeah. Oh my goodness, it's happening. Oh my goodness, it's happening. This is it, Carrie. This is it. Except they look not they round look enough. like white fish. Shoot. Are they white fish? I don't know. Tell me if you know. I don't know. There's a lot of them. You're definitely going to get one. Is he still on me? What the heck? What the heck? Seriously? Like nobody cares at all? That was our moment. Come on. Did any of them engage? I was looking no. at my spring bower. Okay, they look round enough there. Dude, those are crappies. Look at how round they are. Okay. Look at how round they are. Yeah. We've got 10 minutes till official sunset time. Crappies at sunset can be insane. Or actually, nothing can happen also, though. I can't believe I didn't catch a fish. I guess sometimes it just doesn't happen, Carrie. <laughs> sometimes. Every time with us. <laughs> I caught a bunch of fish. It was a great day, and you know what? Okay. A bunch the, might be a little bit of an the exaggeration. The next day that you have available, we're going back. And we're going to increase the stakes to $1,000 each. <laughs> for the biggest crappie. So stay tuned. We are going to go film another video right away. <laughs> okay. Bye for now. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.